everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Anderson's ring walk, something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. He's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Gentlemen, one thing, protect yourself at all times. Okay? Let's watch him up. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, they're always off. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxers are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Keep moving, keep moving. A headshot blocked. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Blocked there by the baby face assassin. Double jab by the baby face assassin. Halfway through this round here. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Another jab. Nice strike after catching one by Anderson. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? Here we go. Round two is underway. up defensively protecting the head able to 
dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Lumbering left hand puts him down. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Anderson. Good block by the babyface assassin. Nice block. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. A good block. Last ten seconds. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him. He's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Nice block by the babyface assassin. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Plays counter punch by the baby face assassin. Oh, good stuff there. Two in a row by the lion. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautiful. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. And another jab. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was 
that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's, he used distance. Ten seconds to go in this third round. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be, because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. that punch One. Good work by Anderson. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. to show you his blocking ability. They both decide to bring it. How about that? Back to back he lands by the lion. Get rid of that one. Yeah. Wow, is he defensively sound? Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Keep your distance. Lack of defense starting to be costly now. You can see that swelling. Yeah, and you know, the first thing you think about is he's going to get back to his corner. They're going to put that end swell on it. But he needs to get better defensively. Make sure that it doesn't get worse. Good defense just covering up down low. Defense turns to offense, the counterpunch by the babyface assassin. 
I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. Good looking counter punch. assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Able to dismiss that body shot. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Locks that punch. The combo lands upstairs. Throws a counter punch there. Anderson's doing half of his opponent's job for him. He's a sitting target. This is like being in the gym for his opponent right now. Yeah, he's just standing straight up, making himself much, much too available. Lions showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. by the baby face assassin. <laughs> Very nice defensive guard there.
Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Anderson. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Way to block there. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot at the halfway point of round seven able to cover up along the belt line blocks that one to dismiss it. <laughs> Scores with the combo to the head. <laughs> Devastating blow by the baby face assassin. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. End of the round here, and you can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport. Boxing fans are not just passionate like in our sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Offense, the counter punch by the baby face assassin. Wow. 
What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Throws a counter punch there. Protecting his head well with his guard. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Anderson. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by the lion keep, keep the head moving 10 seconds remaining in this round Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy, when you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower just depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Nice defensive guard there. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Lion. Up. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the Lion. 90 seconds into the ninth round. He keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He's bleeding from the side of his face there. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He's got that quick trigger, that little double jab there. Boom, boom. His legs look shaky. He was hurt. You can see what he's trying to do there. He wants to create space. A little push, a little shove. Why not? Get away from me. Good block. to the end of the round.
around that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Gets rid of that effort. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. the left hand working well for him again we got an interesting fight here it looks like one man is seemingly in control but the other is still live is still game is still capable it may need to hit that jackpot though well he probably does need that knockout so right now he has to adjust his game plan and thinking a little bit he's got to look for a spot to land one big shot maybe when he's pulling out Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. end of this round teddy a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys well it depends what kind of style what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses if i had a guy who likes to box who likes to counter punch i want a guy coming at him not with a lot of tnt in his gloves but coming forward where my guy is well suited he can pick him off a little bit a headshot blocked <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Anderson's proving to be elusive. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Anderson. A good block. Able to counter that attack. Ninety 
seconds to go in this 11th round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And there he counters back against his opponent. Protecting himself. Nice, precise work doubling it up by Anderson. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Lion. Anderson's doing a good job there. He has a great sense of his identity. He knows he's got a fight on the outside, and creating that space is the way to do it. Nice strike after catching one by Anderson. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Misses his opponent's headshot. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Gets rid of that effort. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Good block there by the baby face assassin. Good job protecting himself. put his punches together Baby face assassin. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Anderson. Which way will it go? Let's find out by sending it up to the ring announcer.
your winner by unanimous decision, Teddy. Well, the question from the beginning was, could he get inside and make it his kind of fight? He did. For Teddy Atlas, 